Toxic Brand? Hey guys, recently I have been binge watching Lush Hauls like non-stop because I'm so obsessed with them and we had a tournament and we went to the mall nearby and um, they had a Lush. I've always wanted to do a Lush bath bomb demo where you just like demo a couple different bath bombs and make it into this really like well edited aesthetically pleasing video. If you guys want to see it, give this video a thumbs up and comment down below which bath bombs you guys would want me to test because I really want to do that video but I want to know your opinions first. Anyways, without further ado, let's get to it. So the stuff I'm about to show is from the first trip which was taken by my mom's friend. We gave her a list, we paid her back. The reason I'm telling you this is because this is a Christmas item actually and since um, my mom's friend went on this trip like three weeks ago, they were doing buy one get one off of some Christmas items so we split the deal and I got the joy to the world little set. Hey, it feels like Christmas again. The first thing in there is the Love and Light hand cream. I kind of picture this as a more summer scent as opposed to a Christmas line. Totally okay with me, but it smells of oranges and kind of like citrusy, fruity smells. It's very soft on your hands and I approve. The other thing in the little wrapped package is this soap. Ooh, It has kind of a cinnamon scent, but it's not too overpowering if you know what I mean. I really really like this and you've got quite a lot of product here so this is going to last you a while too, plus it's super pretty so that's always a bonus. Currently the limited edition Valentine's Day collection is out and I got two products from that range, the first being this Prince Charming Shower Cream and it says this sweet fruity pomegranate vanilla wash will sweep you off your feet and leave you smelling like a dream. I have used this a few times since I got it a couple of weeks ago and the scent is very kind of spicy. I don't necessarily smell the vanilla in it, but I do like the scent. I really like the formula of this. The color that you see right here is the actual color of the product. It doesn't tint your skin or anything, so you don't have to worry about that. But overall, I really like this. The other Valentine's Day product I got is, I think, their most popular one, and it is the Unicorn Horn Bubble Bar. I'm sure you've seen this on tons of people's Instagrams. I thought this was going to be like a really strong candy scent at first, but it actually smells like lavender, which is really relaxing. If you don't know what a bubble bar is, you can actually use this multiple times. You just break off little pieces and crumble them under running water, and they'll create lots and lots of bubbles, as I'm sure you could guess. And they'll also color your bath. They leave your skin feeling really soft and smooth, and I just love them. On the Lush website, it said you could probably get one to two uses out of it, but those would have to be pretty sizable pieces. So I'm guessing that I can get three or more uses out of it. It all just depends on how much you use, but it is so cute. It'll look great on your Instagram if you're into that, and it just smells amazing as well. I also got the Frozen Bath Bomb, which I just could not wait to use, so I'll insert some clips right here. You also saw them in the intro, but this bath bomb was seriously amazing to watch. I love the colors. They were super vibrant, and I'm sure you saw this picture on my Instagram. If not, then you're probably not following me. You should go do so. My username is at Miss underscore Sydney 18, along with all of my other social media. But basically, in summary, Frozen Bath Bomb, 10 out of 10, would recommend. And the last product from that trip that I wasn't physically on is the Sex Bomb Bath Bomb. I picked this one out for my mom, actually, because I've been raving on about bath bombs and Lush, and she's really curious about it, so I got this classic one. I've used this one before, and from what I remember, it leaves your bath kind of like a dark pink color, and it just fizzes out, you know, and it has this little rose on top, which becomes like this, like, squishy little thing. It separates from the bath bomb, and it's really beautiful to watch, and it smells very good as well. So this is like a sable for Lush, so I thought it would be a good starting point for her. Gotta get my mom addicted to Lush as well. Now to the most recent Lush trip, the one that I was actually on. The first thing that I'm going to show you guys is the 93,000 miles shower jelly. And I've seen these shower jellies on Lush's Instagram and everything, and it's always just been a very intriguing product because of the consistency. It's literally like jello, and it's really fun to touch. 
The reason I picked up this specific shower jelly over the other ones is because of this right here. It says, perfect post-workout to loosen up muscles, get rid of cramps, and energize you for the rest of your day. And I had just finished playing a field hockey tournament, and that sounded pretty good. It has a very strong mint smell. The color is kind of like this burnt orange reddish color, and I'm just so excited to use it because if it does what it says, then that would be really nice. And then I got four other things, two bubble bars and two bath bombs, so I'm just gonna start with the bubble bars because why not? The first bubble bar is the pink flamingo bubble bar, and as you can tell, it's a little pink flamingo surprising I know and it's just on this little stirring stick and what you do is you just put this in your bath and then you can like stir it around get some bubbles going it has a fruity smell and reminds me of summer maybe that's just because it's a flamingo but I miss summer so I like that aspect of it and on the Lush website it says that the fresh ingredient part is rosewood oil and I don't exactly know what that smells like but I'm assuming it smells like this and it smells delicious the other bubble bar is something that's been raved about a lot on YouTube and I picked up the comforter because I saw it and smelled it, fell in love with it, and then naturally added it to my basket, like physical basket, because I went into Lush and I was trying to hold everything and they, they offered me a basket. Here's what it looks like. It's a purple, pinkish, and white swirl and it smells like blackberries, fruity kind of. Um, it says on the website that it has citrus in it. I'm not really getting that, but it smells very relaxing. And since it's so large and thick, I know that I can get lots and lots of baths out of it, which makes me very happy. <sighs> the last two things in here are bath bombs, and the first one I picked up is this Guardian of the Forest bath bomb. Mine's a little bit messed up, but it has like a light green tree design, and then kind of like a squiggly dark green design on the other side, and... I've heard some really good things about this. I heard that it makes a really pretty green color in your bath. I'm not 100% sure how to describe the scent other than it's fresh and really just relaxing, comforting, um, smells very clean and I cannot wait to use this and pop it in my bath and just have a good time, you know? And last but certainly not least, the Intergalactic Bath Bomb. And if you just look at this, I'm sure it doesn't come out to be as bright on camera, but it has very bright pink, yellow, and blue colors, and it just looks like a little galaxy, and I presume that's what it's gonna look like in my bath as well. The scent is very refreshing, and you can smell the peppermint oil that is in here. I've heard this does some pretty bomb things in your bath because that's what bath bombs do. It has some fine sparkles in there as well, which are gonna look really nice in your tub, and I just can't wait to use it. There's really no better way to put it than that. So that was everything that I got from Lush. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to give it a thumbs up and let me know if you wanna see that demo video down below. And yeah, I love you guys, and I'll see you very soon. Bye. peanuts. Oh, not a good idea. Not a good idea.